Isaiah ended the game on, on Thursday with a, a couple misses down the stretch. And what did it take for you guys to see him kind of take matters in his own hands, especially on that last drive and tough one in the end? I mean, he's a great player, you know. Uh, great players make great plays. So um, we have a, a great belief in him. So, you know, we knew that that's, that's what he was capable of. So when we saw him do that, it's just, it's just normal, you know. Uh, for me, I've seen this process as a freshman, and <clears throat> I see how he works out every single day and the big steps that he's made. So like you said, we really trust in him. We trust in a lot of our guys to make those plays down the stretch. And uh, I know he was upset the other night, the free throw he missed, I could tell. So he put in the extra work this time, and he really came through big at the end there. Big night for you tonight, Boogie. I mean, it was a special night coming in time, Filipino night. A lot of Filipino fans in the community came to celebrate you. Was that kind of a motivation? like? Whether seeing your flag in the stand or just listening to the music at halftime? Yeah, it was, it was a great experience, you know. I'm glad that a lot of people came out and, and came to support us tonight. And um, I'm glad that we got a win, but it, it was definitely a, a great motivation. What was the most points you've scored since you've been here? Uh, State was 10th in the field. Is that the best you've felt all, all year? Um, I, I felt like um, it, it was a good game, but I feel like I could get more. So um, I'm just going to continue to uh, keep getting better. Ethan, Coach, after the game, talked about how you control the game. You've been struggling recently. You have, today, you have four points with five assists. Talk about what you've been dealing with for the last week or so and, and how you broke out of it today. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. That's really what I've been. My really main goal is to control the game. I know earlier this season, I was shooting the ball exceptionally well, and <clears throat> that's something that I really worked on, but it's not something that I wanted to depend my game on. So I think in this stretch where I was struggling, I would only depend on just three point shots. And that's something I improved on definitely. But as you've seen in my career, that's not how I really majorly affect the game. I think it's more of me being able to control the game, get guys the right shots, and uh, play defense, which I love to do. So, yeah, this is a really good game for me. I needed this mentally just because <clears throat> I know how much I can bring to the team. I know how much my teammates trust me. And I feel like I can make the game easier for all of our guys. You guys fell into another hole early. How do you keep that from happening again after you know, so many yeah. in a row? Um, I feel like we just got to come together, uh, me, Ethan, uh, Isaiah, Drew, um, and Chavez, because we're the guys who really got to start the game max too as well. Uh, we can't we can't keep coming out like that. You know, we, we just got to come together and and, and start uh, punching pe uh, punching teams first because um, in big games we're not going to be able to uh, keep getting getting punched first. We got to hit them first, especially at home. Uh, so we just got to come together, um, figure it out as a team, and um, that's something we, we, we're going to work on uh, going on this road trip is is coming out and starting, starting the game well. Have you, you guys find yourselves focusing better as a team on the road as opposed to playing at home? Um, I've always said it's really tough to play on the road in the Pac-12, especially that mountain trip that we just came off of. I'm really proud of our guys for <coughs> sweeping that. But I mean, I think our focus is always there, but I. I think that really makes the difference between those stretches. But we'll have to give credit to Cal. They made some huge shots there. I think we played some pretty good defense to start, but they just made shots. But today the difference was we were more <clears throat> deliberate on defense and not just take whatever they wanted to give us, but we made them do something to where we know how to guard it. So I think on the road or at home, I think our focus is always there. But we have to come out with that, like you said, a punch them first mentality so that they can't just run their offense as they please. Anything else? Good. Thank you guys for coming.